one's here. Just you and me. Come in, come in. Beer? No, thank you. Oh, I agree. Let's have whiskey instead. Packy swears by you. Absolutely swears by you. Yeah? <sighs> you handled yourself well on the bank job. It was fun. Fun? Too much fun. That's always been this family's problem. Fun. Good causes, a good laugh, some stupid dream or some stupid distraction. <laughs> but never any fucking focus. Never. Hmm. Focus. <sighs> All we've ever been is bitches working for guineas, working for niggers, any asshole with a buck. A whole lot spent in a proper manner. Oh, yeah. Wine and women as quick as possible and remain a slave forever. Very poetical. Yeah, I know. National tragedy. But I got a plan. You down, friend? Maybe. What is it? Well, first up, we gotta create a little problem between the Ancelotti's and their Albanian muscle for Jimmy P. You're gonna plant a bomb in Tony Black's car. Be rigged to a phone. Then we'll go off when you dial a number. I want it to blow when they get back from their meeting. So the Ancelotti's think the Albanians did it. <laughs> exactly. Bombs in an alley off of Inchin Avenue. Get it? Give me a call. You know, Packy was right for once. I'm glad you're on board. We're going to in. Let's do it. That's uh, very kind of you. So, Jerry, I got this bomb. All right, listen. Salatis and the Albanians are meeting in Little Italy. Tony's car is parked in an alleyway off of Feldspar Street. They put the bomb in the trunk, then follow the wise guys from their meeting back to the rest of their crew, then you blow the bomb. Make sure no one walks away. It's easy, right? So easy, I don't see why you ain't doing this yourself. Nico, I wouldn't trust myself with this task. You ain't got a gallon of whiskey in your system, and besides, you're being paid, ain't you? Call me when it's done.
Hey, Big Tone! Did you kick some ass or what? The Albanians know they got us over a barrel, Sal. At least it's better than dealing with those fucking drunken Irish bastards, though. Forget about it.
Jerry, I hit the Ancelotti's crew real hard. Everyone got taken down. The rest of them should think the Albanian muscle is making a play. Yeah, I knew my brother wouldn't put his faith in a bum. We'll be at them elbows in no time. That's step one of the plan for the police. Come see me. We'll talk about step two. Oh, there he is. <laughs> The sophisticated European. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> so, how are you? All right, yeah. Cage, don't stand there talking to him on the doorstep. Ask him in. Oh, come in. Ma, you remember the boy's friend, Nico? How are you? Good, and you? Put it like this. My boys are out of control. My daughter can't find a man, and my husband is in hell. I'm thinking, God moves in mysterious ways. Oh, that's mother for you. Always a joy. <laughs> <laughs> Nico! You made it, uh, huh? Well, I'll leave you to your men's talk. I hope you impress each other. Hey, look at me. Yeah. Yeah. I thought so. You'll do fine. Fine at what? Some gimp work for the Pegarinos. I owed them. Oh, please. I do it myself, but I think I'm being watched by the cops. Someone. I think I'm about to get pinched again. Shit, really? Yeah, it's happened before. I keep seeing the same car watching. All it means is someone's been speaking, we just have to find out who and make them stop. In the meantime, i chill things out for a bit. So, I need your help. Okay. boy. Come on. I got something to show you. Now, Pegorino's a funny guy. Seems like his main motivation is putting his Guernsey crew on par with the five old families. Ancelotti's being the weakest. He's decided to stir shit up for him. Now, the Ancelotti's have an uneasy alliance with some Albanians. They use them as hitmen, thugs, bullies. I know the type. Much like Jimmy DeGuido uses us. So, what you're gonna do is disguise yourself as an Albanian and then go whack Frankie Garone, an Ancelotti longtime capo. Sure. Which Albanian? Uh, this one.
sneaky scumbag! Tony Black didn't do nothing to nobody who didn't deserve it! What the fuck? We're going to the mattresses for sure! Frankie Goron sleeping with the fishes. Anyone who saw us is going to describe the Albanian you got on ice. All right, nice work. Real nice. I'll let Jimmy P know about that. I'll cut you in on anything he throws my way. I don't know how long I'm gonna be outside, though. I feel like the cops might knock down my door any moment. Take me to the pen. Good luck with that, Jerry. Please, look after my family if I go inside. Uh huh? Yeah, I gotta go. Let's chow. Hey, Ray. So, uh, who's the pal? Phil, you remember Nico? He's a good friend of mine. Can we talk? Be in touch, Nikki. Too long, Johnny. A fun way to go. Great, thanks.
is cursed! You don't fucking want it! Phil, man, I got that thing you were after. What do you want me to do with it? It's a wedding present from my nephew, Frank. Take it out to the big house for from Beaverhead Abbey. You know the one I need. Mean. He'll be waiting for you. Hey, you Frankie. Your uncle asked me to give you this wedding present. You're a lucky guy. I don't know about that. I gotta sit on this stuff until Phil gets over his paranoia and we could ship it. Meantime, I gotta pack it into some cars that go faster than this thing. Sounds like a fun honeymoon. Later on.
Your nephew's got his wedding present. Nicely done. He's a good kid. He deserves something. Hopefully you'll look after him. Nico, you looking for more work? I'm always looking to earn a bit of extra cash. Great. I know a guy who needs a man like you. Only operates on an outside line. Go to the payphone on the corner of Petulo and Hardtack. The boy. What's up, man? My ma says that I gotta take you to a show since you ain't from Liberty City. What do you think? Nah, Packy, sorry. I don't want to see a show. Another time. All right, man. If you want to hang later, call me. Why didn't you tell me Derek was back? What? Why didn't you tell me you was hanging around with my brother? I assumed if you cared, you'd have found out. Well, I have found out. Jesus. You know Derek's not well. No? No. He's sick. He always was. He's always off getting involved in someone else's fight, making a fool of himself, betraying people, going into hiding. He's an idiot and a coward. It's not my business. Whatever he stood for, he betrayed. He only left here in the first place because he was caught stealing from the Mafia. He's a pathetic wretch. Okay, I got it, so... Now, he's gonna ruin my life. If it wasn't bad enough having a bunch of crooks for brothers, now I've got him threatening to talk to a journalist about his family, about me! Well, tell him to be quiet. I am trying to become the commissioner of police. I'd be a laughingstock. A cop with a famous snitching traitor for a brother. Ugh. You know, the crooks I can handle. See, that I can spin. But not this. Not this. Uh, you got the big problem then. Me? Uh -uh. We, my friend. We. You stop him. <coughs> stop? Stop. Kill your brother. He's already dead. Just put him out of his misery. Fuck you. No, fuck you, pal. I'm gonna meet him in the courtyard park off Bismarck and Lancet. Deal with him. Make him a tragedy, not a disaster. Do it, or I will put you away. Oh, don't push me. I think I can make the meeting. You gotta take him out before he makes a move. This is Cain and Abel stuff, I'm telling you. Question is, which one of us is gonna be wandering the earth with a mark on his head, and who's gonna be six feet under, you know? This phone's running out of battery, shit! Look after me, Nico. Yo! We're going to business. Let's do it. Francis, I'm ready. What is the plan? I hope you got over yourself and are ready for some fratricide. Don't forget that I still got dirt on you. I know this ain't nice, but neither of us has a choice. It's sounding like I got no choice. One McCreary brother is going to get me to kill another. That's what I like to hear. I want you to take the window cleaning elevator on one of the buildings around back of the courtyard. Get in position and put Derek out of his misery. Shit, I better get ready to act surprised. Don't miss, Nico. You might hit me. I'll hit who I'm aiming at. Don't worry. Hey, any time, buddy. Come on.
Derek, my brother. Frankie, what's this about? I've got to say, I'm nervous about this little meeting. Shit, when I heard you was back, I nearly shat myself. Sit down. Why didn't you call me? You could have slept on my couch. I'm doing real well for myself, real well. I'm sorry about how life turned out for you. I'm going to need this. Oh. May Poseidon swallow you whole. Has he got work? Yeah. He's got stuff that needs doing. Head over to his house off of Beaverhead in West Dyke. So I hear you found the big bad monster you were after. Bernie Crane, the muscle Mary? Come on. Fuck you. You think I wouldn't have fingered him in a second if he was your guy? You could have told me he was here. I'm helping you find the man you're after. I'm not some reunite old boyfriend service. Look, I was in the army. I know it gets lonely. I know what it feels like to get close to a man. I'm sure you do, but you said you'd help me. I've already helped you, but I'll help you again. Wait for me to be in touch. There's one last cop on the streets of Liberty City. What do you mean, Packy? I mean that my cop brother Francis McCreary is no longer with us. You and Jerry must be very upset. Hardly. Couldn't stand the bastard myself. That said, the only celebrating Jerry's gonna be able to do will be in prison. He got hauled in last night. Shit, is it serious? Charges ain't gonna stick, don't worry. Anyway, it means a lot to the family if you come to Francis' funeral. It's at the church in Suffolk today. I'll stop by, man. I'll see you there. Remember to wear a suit, Vigo. Can't have you dressed like a bum in the church. Hi, Nico. Hey, Kate. I am sorry to hear about your brother. You're probably the only one. He was too much of a cop for my family to accept him, and too much of a gangster to be accepted by the cops. What did you think about him? To be honest, I thought this would have happened earlier. Then again, I expect to get a call from the coroner about any one of my brothers every day. You going to be at the funeral? Sure. I'll see you there, Kate. Goodbye. To Liberty Lane. Got it. Thanks a lot. And while no one is suggesting he was an angel, none of us are. 
<laughs> that is why God put us on earth and not in heaven. The trials of humanity were sometimes too much for him to bear, but he was a committed family man and a man of beliefs. God asks us to show faith, and that is what he did in his way. Francis gave so much of himself and will be sorely missed by us all. Amen. 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 Now, if you will all please join me in the procession to the cemetery. I'm, uh, sorry for your loss. I'm not. I'm sorry for Ma. I gave up on my brothers a long time ago. The most I ever expected from them was to put flowers on their coffins. Hmm. You have a strange family. Who doesn't? I don't know. Oh my god, get the hell out of the way! dead brother to the mercy of them animals. Frankie's plot is in the graveyard on Colony Island, Nico. Can we put him in the ground? no more. Thank fuck. Shit, I never thought I'd be on the run from some Albanian gangsters with a cop in the car. Can we call for backup or something? Are you suggesting that I'm a fucking cop? I thought that you would know better than that. No, you dumb European fuck. I met my brother, Francis. It was a joke. Hell of a fucking time to be making jokes about your dead brother. You know, I'm still not that fond of the guy, even in his death. I guess that's what turning cop will do to a fraternal relationship. I guess you've got enough brothers to hate one of them. Swiftly running out, Nico. Ain't got that many left. Now that Francis is on his way to the graveyard and Gerald is behind bars, all I got left is that smackhead Derek. You've got Katie. I could have fucking guessed you'd bring her up. I was thinking you only kept those hitmen away from the church to protect my sister. I did it all for you. Sure you did, Nico. Tell yourself you did it out of the grace of your own heart, rather than for another piece of your anatomy. Which ain't gonna get used, I might add. You have arrived. Finally, it's time to say goodbye to my brother. Amen. Thanks, Nico. 
What for? Guys like you don't like cops. Being here, helping us out, I appreciate it. It's not that I don't like cops. You do what you do to get by. Cops are just regular guys trying to survive. Anyway, I'm not here for Francis. I'm here for you and Packy. Like I said, thanks. Give me a call sometime, Nico. from the Alton State Correctional Facility. Hey, Jerry. I heard you've been locked up. I'm sorry to hear that. We gotta discuss something. I put you on the visitors list here. Come down. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm sorry about your brother. Hey, uh, me and Francis were never exactly close, but he was my brother, and it hurts. Poor bastard. He believed in something once. That's a hell of a lot better than me, I guess. <laughs> Fuck, I'll miss him. How are you? In here? Fine. Time of my life. Goddamn time of my life. What you up for? A lot of things. Racketeer. I'm robbery. A bunch of shit I never did because I was always a well-behaved family man who occasionally liked to drink, but nothing more. Of course. Like us all. Like us all. But the thing is, I think I should make some changes in my life. Stop with the drink. Put it down. Stop hanging out with the wrong sort. Can you help me do that? It is a final chance at redemption. Look, whatever you want, I will do my best to help. Good. Give Packy a call. He'll explain what, uh, I need guidance with the most. The areas where I have strayed furthest from the path. See ya. brother told me to call you. Jerry wants us to kidnap old man Ancelotti's daughter. Some fake tan, dyed haired, guido loving slut by the name of Grace. She's selling her tasteful pink felter on auto erotica at the moment. Get online, organize a viewing, and snatch that bitch. When you got her, bring her to a place we got on an alleyway off Sacramento. I can do that. You can do anything, Nico. Don't let her on that you're kidnapping her near her place, though. So play along with a test drive for a while to get her out of there. It's a real mobbed-up area, and they'll come down on you damn heavy. Aren't you going to help? One of my fucking brothers just got shot, and another one's in the pen. Someone's got to be with my mom. Hello? Take me to the... Okay, yet problem. I'm, uh, calling about the car. Come to my place on Babbage Drive. You don't sound like the sort of man who drive a pink convertible. Well, I, I can't resist a bargain. I know you recycle, but it's not enough. Oh, oh, son of a bitch! Shit. Oh, shit, man! So, uh, can you take... A fun way to go. Thanks. You're the guy who calls about the car, the one with the sexy accent. <laughs> you mind if I take a test drive? You can test drive whatever you want. I love riding in cars with you European types. 
My family's from Italia, you know, somewhere in the south. Why don't you drive towards the south coast? We can enjoy the day. I'm Gracie, by the way. Hey, Gracie, why are you selling this car? Seems pretty good. Let's just say that me and the LCPD have had a few disagreements about blood alcohol levels. How's a girl meant to get back to Aldeny after a big night out in Algonquin if she's not drunk driving? She could stay sober. You sound like my dad. Anyway, you clearly have not been to Mason at night. There's no such thing as sober in that place. No fucking way. If I stick to booze, it's a miracle. Most girls aren't as good with a stick shift as I am. I couldn't get in at first, but now that I know Tony, it isn't a problem. You should calm down one night. I don't know if it would be my scene. I'll tell everyone you're a big Russian oil guy or an arms dealer. We'll get fucked up and they'll love you. Before you know it, you have your own booth, table service, a whole scene. We'll see. I'm not after the car. I'm after you. I mean this is a kidnapping. Control yourself, remain calm, and you might just walk away from this with your life. Oh my fucking god, you fucking pervert! That's it, fuck with. I am calling daddy, and he ain't gonna treat you as polite as I do, that's for sure. You're not calling shit, bitch. You're coming with me. You motherfucker, you sick bastard, you creep! I ain't gonna make this easy. Then I'm not going to either. When my daddy hears about this. Daddy ain't here now. I could have skated past all this. Chill out before I pull this trigger and make you real fucking chill. You are in so much trouble, Limpsick. My daddy loves his little girl. Taking me nowhere! Yes, I am! There ain't no child lock on this thing! But I'm right here! Stupid car to try to kidnap me in! You ain't going nowhere! You're fucking with the wrong girl, asshole! I am Gracie Ancelotti and I... Shut up! Peace at last! What, well, Rasta? Yo, you wanna go down at the strip club, Mr. Bench, yeah? No can do, Jacob. I've got a girl with me, and, uh, I don't think it would be appropriate. But let's speak soon, though, huh? There he is. Stevie, dump the car. I'll take this piece of ass. Guys, the beach better be worth the trouble. The pa's got some serious cash. And he pissed off Gerald. That's reason enough for me. Well, he better pay quick. I hate to think of the fight she'll put up if you try to cut her fingers off. Gordon has the bitch. I'm done with her. Thanks, Nico. My brother will be a happy man. I'll get things in motion. Be in touch.